Zinn offer us amazing watches, but we know this already. Whether you're starting out in the hobby or you want to experience your first German-made watch, Zinn is usually the first choice. And over the years, on a platform like this, the brand is getting stronger and more prominent than ever. And I think it has to do with not only the prices that these watches are offered at, the fact that they are extremely well made and long lasting, but also because they represent the German approach to watch design brilliantly. Now, before we get started with this video, on the wrist today is the Longines Navigation Big Eye for anyone interested. To this day, it is still the best value for money watch I have ever bought. I daily wore it all of last year, and it has everything, balance, proportion, great presence on the wrist. It also needs to be said that I am not a chronograph person, but this watch changed all of that for me. So if you are someone in the same boat who only appreciates dive watches and the rest, I mean, the pilot's chronograph has this really distinct ability of being able to change your opinion fast. The watch that I'm wearing fits perfectly into today's category because we're talking about value for money watches. We're talking about entry level pieces and the quality of design that you get for your money from a brand. And the aim of this video, I think at the end is to have a highlight reel of the top five best watches that I would recommend to you. Mainly focusing on the value of the watch, looking at its design and the detail. So instead of jumping to the collection that I would naturally love to do, the collection I love the most, which is the EZM line or the Einsatzzeit Messer, Unglaublich. We're going to be looking at simpler pieces this time around. So models like the U212 or the 903 or the 856 UTC, the 358, the 144, the 140. They're all priced a little bit too highly for this category. But don't let the title entry level fool you because these pieces we're going to be looking at are Zinn's bread and butter. The price range of these models that we're going to look at, they start between £1,000 or $1,200 and end at £2,000 or $2,500. So let's have some fun talking about the pieces that are by no means neglected. Zinn has a hard edge to their designs. They do away with the curvaceous lines and organic shapes and favor sharpness. I would say that their design language is on the far side of masculine almost brutalist. But the flavor, the secret sauce to their designs is minimalism and function first. The first set in this family, the 556. So many people swear by this watch for good reasons. And I started out with this watch because you can see why it belongs to Zinn. Here in the simplest terms, do you see the contrast? Do you see the line weight? Do you see how well the proportions have been laid out? Some of the key elements that have come to define this watch, well, minimalism and high contrast. You can see how well they've attacked the batons and the minute markers, how little text they've used on the dial. And it should also be mentioned that Zinn is one of the best brands when it comes to date complication placement. You could say before colors were added to this collection that the 556 didn't have many frills. And it's understandable. It's one of the most basic watches that the brand offers. The fact that we're using sword hands and that the batons are elevated, there's some three-dimensionality to the dial. It easily communicates that it is a pilot-oriented instrument. What makes a design like this even better, depending on whether you're looking at the Arabic numerals on the dial or just the straight batons, is that this design is without a time placement. It belongs today. It could belong in the future. Because it is so simple and so unoffensive, it's very hard to date it. A great collection of pieces that offer so many variations with colors, we won't talk about how they used a near exact color palette from Rolex's Oyster Perpetual line this year. But as far as a watch that gets you into the hobby as a beginner piece, as something to get you into Zinn as a brand, these are fantastic. The model number 104 STSA. For a little bit more money, you're getting a lot more watch. Here we have another set of pieces that have a strong aviation link, whether you're looking at a model with batons on the dial or numerals. There is a reason why the 104 has a legendary status today amongst collectors. The design is superb. Everything from the integration of the countdown bezel to the stark contrast on the dial, to the choice of handset, to the balance and placement between all the most important elements, to the inclusion of a day-date complication. This, without question, is one of the best value watches that Zinn offers. And it's so great to see that this design is instantly recognizable. You know exactly where it belongs. Once again, a minimal use of text, and such a great value and emphasis of the lines and their weight on the dial. This 104 definitely ranks in the top five. The 105 is a fairly new introduction from the brand, but has been picked up so quickly. The UTC in this collection is such good value for money because you're getting a GMT with a rotating bezel. But even though there is a slight departure away from the harder jagged lines that you expect to see on the dial, it still manages to communicate that it is a Zinn watch with minimal text great use of colors, and a great balance between lights and darks. 
One of my favorite details on the dial of these pieces is the use of the orange hand. The hollowed out section of the head passes over the date window and doesn't interfere with it. You knew that this watch was going to be a part of this talk because it's a Red Dot Design Award winner. It has this great sense of daily usability. I also appreciate how they have framed the date window at the six o'clock. It also comes across as no other GMT watch currently on the market today. The 356 Flieger or Pilot. Well, you know, I would like this watch because it's a part of the same lineage that's linked to the Longines Big Eye. The design aesthetics and its language roughly shared between the two brands. What's even better with this watch is that it has a day-date complication and some of the best handled crown guards and pusher protectors that the industry can offer. The size of this watch is also spot on. Everything is so nicely balanced. Even the text on the right hand side doesn't come across as heavy handed when you look to the other subdials. And once again, Zinn manages to show their mastery when it comes to less is more, but also just how to arrange things on a dial without anything coming across as clutter. And what can I say? It's just another design from them that cannot be faulted. The model 103 STSA. What a great looking chronograph. This takes the 356 configuration and just boosts it to another level. A rotating countdown bezel now included and an excellent use of automatic script on the six o'clock subdial. It takes some of the visual weight away from the three o'clock position, but also adds nice intrigue. And what's even better about the 103 is that it calls back to designs that belong in the 1970s and the 1980s, with a case and dial setup that belongs to names like Dodan and Gwynand that were all closely related to the Breguet Type 20. This watch, even though it's considered entry level, manages to take the aviation chronograph aesthetic to another stage. Now we get to the divers, the Zin U1. It needs to be said that in today's climate, it's very difficult to make a recognizable dive watch. But Zin, doing what it does best, pulling inspiration from a brutalist 1980s point of view, gives us a watch with how it could best be described as Lego brick components. The dial manages to be this equal blend of function, but also fun. It has been so nicely addressed and in 41 millimeters suits a wider range of wrists. It also needs to be said, and I believe this is the case, that the U1 now starts using submarine steel on its exterior, which makes its case and bracelet one of the most scratch resistant materials in the world. Now to the Zen UX, a completely different watch. Quartz movement, oil fill dial. This is when you start getting really high tech and the way they have approached this watch is a blend of Flieger elements, but also something more akin to a dive watch. You can see how well the use of sword hands match the trapezoidal batons and how once again, they follow this formula of extending the minute markers to encapsulate the dial. The crown placement on this watch, either at the 10 o'clock position or the four o'clock, keeping it out of the way of the hand and the level of professionalism behind the UX design approach its final execution, it shows you that this is a tool for industry. It's used to get the job done. It has such a great setup, and at a glance, you know it means business. The U50, a smaller, toned down, simplified variation of the U1. This diver has received all of the accolades, and it's not hard to see why. The simple fact of the matter is, there are very few pieces today that manage to compete, not only with the design, but purely from a functional and tool approach. Like with all the other pieces that Zinn offer, nothing comes across as a luxury. They all come across as a tool, something built to be used for a purpose. And it is very much in Zinn's nature to eliminate all things that are highly reflective, polished, and instead double down on bringing forward the contrast and the heaviness of the most important things. The U50 has such a great reputation today because of how it fits so many wrists, because of its presentation, because of how versatile it is, with huge props and credit going towards how they've addressed the rubber strap and the deployant integration. There is only one watch in this category that I believe rivals the U50 and the U1 design, and that is the Tudor Pelagos. And it must also be said again, just how well done everything has been positioned on the dial of the U50. But there is also one watch that is considered affordable, that is considered heavy duty, that has such a great design, an iconic design at this point, and that is the Easy M 3F. This watch made the Destro case cool before it even was a thing. Countdown bezel, a unique handset that belongs to the Easy M 1.1, a date window at the 330 position that's well hidden, an encircled argon gas symbol at the base of the dial. It has such a clear and concise aesthetic, and what makes it truly special and why I love it so much is that it is the most distinctive, professional and also German watch ever made. There are just too many good things to say about this piece, so I'll move on. And since we're on the topic of the EZM, an honorable mention to the 1.1. This variation is a far more extreme model next to the 3F, but it is a part of a limited edition run. The 25th anniversary model, all black coated, is just... I mean... So collecting all of the watches in this category and finding five of the best 
I will name them now and you should see them on the screen. In my personal opinion, the ranking goes as follows in no particular order. The Model 104, the Model 103, the Model 105, the U50, and the EZM3F. These are not only some of the best designed watches that Zinn offers, but also fall into the best entry level pieces that you can buy today. I personally think what makes them all special is that they are truly distinctive and belong to Zinn as a brand. But what makes them work so well together is that they all abide by the tenets that define Zinn as a company. Very little text, a brutalist, minimalist approach. Matte finished, a unique use of hands. And this attention to constantly make pieces that would suit someone as an everyday wearer. They are supreme. Not only some of the best professional oriented watches in the world, but also watches that show the timelessness and the strength of German watch design.